everybody, how you doing? I'm Rusty Nelson and welcome. This is just going to be a quick update to what's going on around in the villages this weekend. These are just kind of down and dirty as you can see I haven't even shaved yet, but just getting up and having my coffee. So I figure I'd kind of blurt this out. I'm only going to do these things when there seems to be a lot going on during the weekend and I got a bunch of stuff here. So I'm going to try to run right through this really quick. That is just an update for SantaCon, which is December and this is SantaCon South. So we're doing this down in the Sawgrass area, and this will be December 9th. And Patty, Tim, and I are slowly putting this together. Try to remember there's only the three of us doing this. And we're not actually doing it. We're just announcing something, and hopefully everybody can get together and meet up. But this year, we are going to have the Blues Brothers there. Uh, thanks to the Villages and McGrady's Pub for sponsoring that and bringing them in. And that will kick off around one o'clock or so, the music. But we please invite you to come down. Toys and Tots will be there and they will be collecting toys for the kids. Now you don't have to just bring toys. They will be manning it there so they can either take cash so please help them out, or uh, you can bring a check. They'll take that to make it out for Toys for Tots, and they will be able to use that. With that said, it is also going to be a time for a golf cart parade, and we have a feeling this is going to be pretty big. I want to thank uh, McCrady's, McGrady's Pub down there for sponsoring the grand prizes for the best golf cart and also the best dressed Santa or I don't know, maybe it's Mrs. Claus too. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how that goes. It's kind of all up in the air. Like I said, uh, we're just having some fun with it. But the Blues Brothers should be a lot of fun. And that'll go till about, uh, let's see, 2.15 or so. And then we'll give out the awards. And then we will parade down to, we'll parade out of here and see what happens <laughs> with, with all that. And eventually, we'll end up somewhere down in Brownwood. So, we'll, we'll more updates. If you go to this site, I'll put the link down to it, the Facebook site. Uh, you cannot post on that, so don't go get dis dis discouraged. Simply because we don't, uh, we don't have enough people to man this. And we're just, like I said, we're just kind of announcing it. And then we will most likely open it up afterwards. So, you can put all your cool pictures and stuff like that down there. And maybe I'll put some of them on a video. Who knows? Um, that's about it. Uh, that's some pictures from so from from last year. So you can check check those out. That's kind of cool. But let's get on with the rest of us. Make sure you do subscribe to that because all the updates will be coming through that, including linksing into the event stuff. First up on this agenda, let me make sure that you can still see me over there and hear me. Uh, market nights, a lot of people don't understand when these go on for market nights. Uh, market night is a popular enhancement to night entertainment, all three of our town squares, and they have them on different nights. So it's on the first and third week of each month from five to nine and each uh, square has its own time. So Tuesday, Spanish Springs, Wednesday, Lake Sumter, Thursday, Brownwood, Paddock. So tonight, if you're watching this Wednesday, that would be Lake Sumter. And Thursday night is Brownwood. So that's kind of cool. Also, at Brownwood, they have the Farmer's Market, which is Saturdays from 9 to 2 which is a lot of local vendors and stuff like that with, and I still that fish dip in there, but I had that for the first time on one of our restaurant reviews, so that was a lot of fun. First on the agenda is the Holiday Fashion Market. This is on uh, the 10th, and that's from 1 to 4 p.m., and that's Rohan Recreation Center. And I'm not, I've never been to this, but the Holiday Fashion Market presented by the Village's Fashionitas, and it's jewelry, clothing, bags, etc., etc., etc. Are you kidding me? I must not have had my whole cup of coffee here. <laughs> uh, it's free admission, and there is the information on that. Here's something that's really cool. November 10th, and so this is 
at uh, Lake Sumter, and this is this is pretty this is pretty big. So Blonde Ambition will be there. It is going to be crowded. I can tell you that, and it's from five to nine. And let me see. I can do this, and I'm going to turn that off so that you can see what it is. But I don't. You can't hear the music on there. You'd never be able to hear me. But I just want to show you some idea of what it is. But this is kind of an all-night event, and it tends to be very popular, very crowded, and a lot of people having a great time down there. Next up is Whimsy, the Whimsy Market, and this is on November 11th. Now, this is kind of like all over the place, but they have this up at the polo field at the Villages, and I think there's like 160 vendors there or something. Let me see if I can pull something up here for you. There you go, uh, 11 to 4 p.m. at the polo field. So that should be really a lot of fun there and a lot of vendors. I think there's some cool stuff there like bouncy rides and stuff like that. But anyway, you may want to check out that, look further into it. Next up is on the 11th at Eisenhower's, the cra uh, Crafters Fair from 9 to 3 p.m. That's at Eisenhower. And that's presented by the Glass Addicts. I'll tell you what, if you haven't seen some of these things that they make out of glass, it's pretty cool. I don't think it's like blown glass, but it's they put it in a kiln. They, it's pretty cool. Anyway, it's kind of fun to look at. You might find some great um, Christmas gifts there. Next up is Mercado Outdoor Market. And this is up in Spanish Springs. It says... Our new addition to the Village's Market in Mercado Spanish Springs features handmade crafts, arts, locally grown produce. This event also features live acoustic music in the gazebo, and they'll play from 10 a.m. to 1 now, 1 p.m. Now, I'll tell you what, uh, that area up there seems to be um, going under a lot of renovations. I know there's some new restaurants going in there, and there's an outdoor pub or eating over there by... Uh, by the theater and stuff like that. So you may want to check that out. I imagine that's going to get a little bit better and better all the time. On the 11th from 10 to 3 p.m. in Lake Sumter Landing, this is the 2023 Wheels New Car Show. Not show, but it's where the dealers all come in and they show a lot of the uh, new cars up there. So in the morning, go up, have a cup of coffee, go walk around, look at some of the new cars. Kind of interesting. I've been up there and did a video on that before. On the 11th, Colony Cottage, the 10th annual holiday showcase. And this is from 11 or, uh, I'm sorry, on the 11th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And that is at Colony Cottage. Once again, this is uh, fine art, home decor, quilts, handmade jewelry, glass fusion, that glass stuff again, uh, gifts and gift wrapping. So it could be a good time to hunt down some kind of fun gifts for your friends and family. Ike's Fun Fusion Glass Craft Fair. This is a good time to check out these now. I don't know about this one. I've never been there, but it is at Eisenhower, so it could be kind of big. I don't know. You may be able to look that up, find out more information on that. But that is on Sunday. We are up to Sunday now. And that is November 12th. That's 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So that's 4, 4 a.m. There's a lot of uh, local people that come in and do these crafts and stuff and sell them. It's fun to look at or, once again, find a fun uh, gift for your family. Now, on Tuesday, November 14th from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. is the VHA Health and Wellness Expo, and there's a lot going on here. There is a speaker series that you can go see. There's some listed times if you want to freeze that and take a look at it, and there's some more information, and it's sponsored by all of these folks. And... Um, let me look at this because community health, 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 grown villages. I don't see Medicare in there or Shine. And uh, if you haven't seen it, I you may before you go down there, you may want to take a look at Medicare. Uh, I did a couple of videos. I'll link those down below. You can take that on Medicare and also um, 
different health things. We are in that sign-up period till the middle of December, and it's kind of an important thing. But the big thing with this is it may raise some questions, especially of those of you that are considering between Medicare and an Advantage program, because there is a huge difference. And trust me, folks, you need to please do your research and understand the difference between those. It looks like this is a lot. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the VHA um, was originally started, I, I think was started by the developer kind of to offset uh, kind of a homeowners association, that type of thing. Anyway. Uh, that's it. Like I said, these are, I just do these to kind of update you when there's a lot of things going on on the weekends. Please pay attention and sign up for the, the golf cart parade and stuff going on with SantaCon. Really appreciate it. Don't forget about the Toys for Tots. They will actually be there, not just boxes. So the Toys for Tots folks will be down there. Anyway, thanks a lot for joining me. I hope this helps you out, and if we hit another busy weekend, I'll throw another one of these out, probably come out on Wednesday. Anyway, enjoy yourself there, be safe, and have a healthy, friendly, fun weekend here in the villages. I guess like I always say, I'll either see you down here in the villages, out on the square, or back right here on YouTube.